Deltas are major features that occur on trailing edge coastlines. Now, a trailing edge coastline is one that's moving away from a, um, a divergent or constructive plate boundary, so it's on the back side of a continent, whereas on the front side of the continent, which is moving along towards a destructive plate boundary, we have the leading edge of the, of the coast. So these deltas build up on trailing edge coastlines because trailing edge coastlines um, erode once they've been created, uh, they end up having uh, the coastline retreats, uh, leaving a wide continental shelf, which provides accommodation space for sediment delivered uh, from rivers coming down off the continent, and also a collecting point for sediments brought along the shore through longshore drift and so on. So deltas are typical, or large deltas anyway, are typical of trailing edge coastlines. Now here in North Queensland, I'm on a trailing, neo-trailing edge coastline, it's quite new. The rift system or divergent boundary that created it is not far offshore between Australia and New Zealand. And the, behind me we've got a particular river system, which is the barren river, barren river system that uh, drains uh, a large part of uh, eastern Queensland. Um, and here we can see one of the tributaries coming down to the sea and entering into the Pacific. Now here, a lot of sediment comes down with the rivers, although um, due to the, uh, the sort of sporadic nature of the rainfall in the, in the, in the catchment, it's not a continuous uh, delivery of sediment. And when there are large rain events that occur in the catchment, in this particular area we see plumes of sediment going offshore, uh, brought down by the river, and deposited within the delta, but also offshore. And in some cases, particularly here in northeast Queensland, where we have the Great Barrier Reef just offshore, that sediment can actually blanket the reef in some cases and uh, cause damage to the, to the corals. Um, but we also got sediment uh, coming on shore as well from brought by cyclones that occur occasionally along this coastline every one every few years. Now, although it's the, a lot of the sediment is coming down by the river, uh, because of the Great Barrier Reef just offshore, it's protected from the sort of daily high wave energy that you, you might expect on the shoreline of a big ocean like the Pacific. So the, the Great Barrier Reef is actually protecting this coastline from a lot of wave energy. Um, so tidal influences are very important here. The tide isn't, is, is, is microtidal here. The tidal range is microtidal, up to a few meters. Um, but that still has an influence on the coastline. We can see that the, the shores of the, of the river tributary uh, and the tidal creeks are uh, dominated by mangroves. Uh, these are rhizophora mangroves with their typical prop roots down there. And when you walk along the beds of the estuaries uh, and the tidal creeks, you can see tidal bed forms there quite readily. But also, what I'm standing on here is a beach, and across the other side of the river uh, mouth is another beach. In fact, that's a spit. It's almost like a barrier. And this does does indicate that there is a, some wave energy reaching this shoreline that trims it and, and, and makes it quite linear in places. And that might be due as well to the cyclone activity that, that occurs every few years, because the cyclones tend to push onto shore uh, large bodies of sediment, which they build up into reef ridges. And a lot of these coastline is prograded through cyclone ridge buildup, and also through all the gradual process, processes of sediment trapping through the mangrove root system. So altogether then, the deltas like this, which are tidally influenced, but in this case also having an influence from wave activity, bringing sediment down from the catchments of the river, um, are wonderful examples of, of how plate tectonics interacts with coastal evolution. Because without the accommodation space provided here by the trailing edge coastline, we wouldn't see these wonderful large sedimentary features such as deltas being built up.